Hi everyone, welcome back to English for Pinoys. And again, this is Eric. And this is the first of a series of videos that I'm doing on what we call commonly confused words. These are words that commonly confuse actually not only Filipinos, but even native speakers of English. Okay, and the first words that I'm going to take on are the words there versus there versus there. As you can see, uh, they all sound the same, all three of them. These are called homophones. Okay, homophones are words that have uh, different s spelling, um, different meaning, but exactly the same pronunciation. Okay, and that's probably what causes the confusion. I mean, when you write them down, it's less confusing, but you know, when you say when you say these words. Uh, they can be confusing. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to first um, talk about what these words are. We're going to start with the first word T-H-E-R-E -E, or uh, there. So this word can either be an adverb, it can be a pronoun, it can be a noun or even an int interjection. Okay. So it's an adverb, you know what adverbs are. They talk about time, place, um, manner. So when we say ad adverb here it's being used as an adverb We're talking about in or at that place or location or to or toward that place away from the speaker so you say go there so away from the speaker so example is I used to live there so it answers the question where I used to live where there okay it can also be used as a pronoun used as an expletive okay we're going to talk about expletive uh, in another video when I say expletive here we're not talking about bad words or curse words we're talking about a grammatical um, function in in a sentence okay so for example there are two apples on the table so that's a uh, that's the word they're being used as an, as an expletive it's not actually the subject there it's, it's like a placeholder again we're talk about, we'll talk about that in another video there is also uh, can also be used as a noun. For example, you can take it from there, from where, from there. Okay, there, that place, right? And it can also be an interjection. You know what interjections are? It's a part of speech that is used to express, you know, victory or or completion or whatever. Um, for example, there, you got it. Okay, there, you got it. So that's those are the uh, the uh, ways that you can use there either an adverb, a pronoun, a noun, or an interjection. Now what about T-H-E-I-R, or there, okay? Some people are confused uh, between um, possessive pronouns and possessive adjectives, okay? If a word modifies a noun, then that is, a, that is an adjective, okay? So this is actually not a, a pronoun, this is an adjective, specifically a possessive adjective. Possessive, of course, meaning it shows uh, possession. Okay, example, their bags are full. Okay, so the noun there is bags and it's being modified by the possessive adjective there. Okay, their bags are full. Of course, you cannot use T H E R E for that. You don't say their bags. Okay, it doesn't make sense. So it shows possession. Okay, whose bags? Theirs. Their bags, right? Another example, they have bought their plane tickets. All right, so the noun there is noun is, uh, sorry, plane. And plane is modified by the word there. Whose plane tickets? Their plane tickets. Okay, so that's T-H-E-I-R. Now the third one is uh, spelled with an apostrophe. Okay, T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E. So if you have an apostrophe in the middle of a word, that usually signals that it's a contraction. A contraction is a, you're combining two words as one, you're shortening it, abbreviating it, and then you're using an apostrophe there. Okay, so it's the contraction of they are. Okay, there is the contraction of they are. For example, they're ready for the exam, meaning they are ready for the exam. And then another one, I hope they're okay. Okay, I hope they are okay. So of course you cannot substitute that with T H E R E doesn't make sense they're ready for the exam no nope. or even the t-h-e-i-r they're ready for the exam doesn't make sense all right so it's uh, the contraction of the they are and that is there okay so I hope it's clear now um, there is uh, either an adverb a pronoun a noun or an introduction interjection that's t-h-e-r-e -E. there t-h-e-i-r is a possessive adjective meaning it modifies a noun 
tells you what the noun is about. And then finally, T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E is a contraction of they are. Why don't you answer this quick exercise? So uh, uh, try to see if, uh, if you can get this all right. I'm sure you will. All right, so uh, is it there, there, or there? So again, they sound the same. The first one, blank, not feeling well due to the weather. All right, so again, you put all those three words there. See what makes, really what makes sense. So sometimes it really is what makes sense that, that makes it right, okay? So I always tell my students, if it doesn't look right, it's probably wrong, <laughs> okay? All right, so uh, blank, not feeling well due to the weather. Second one, we found blank phones in the library. And in the third, you can go blank if you want. Okay, now in the first one, let's see if we put T-H-E-I-R there. See, that makes sense? There, T-H-E-I-R, not feeling well due to the weather. Or put T-H-E-R-E, -E, see if that makes sense. It doesn't, right? So therefore, the answer is T H. E Y apostrophe R E the the uh, the contraction of they are, all right. In the second sentence, we found blank phones in the library. Oh, sorry. You see, after the blank, there you have a noun. Okay, so you're probably looking for an adjective to modify the noun, and the adjective, of course, is T H E I R, right? The possessive adjective there. We found their phones in the library, and in the third sentence, you can go blank if you want. Okay, again, try T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E if it makes sense there. You can go there if you want, or T-H-E-I-R, that makes sense. T-H-E-I-R, you can go there if you want. It doesn't make sense. Of course, the only word that would make sense there is T-H-E-R-E, -E. okay? So the answers to this uh, exercise are there, T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E, not feeling well due to the weather, we found their phones in the library, the possessive adjective there, modifying the word phones, the noun phones, and then you can go there if you want. Okay, so it's being used there as an adverb. All right, so I hope uh, that helped you and you're no longer confused the next time you write or say these three words. We'll have more videos about commonly confused words, so I hope you stay tuned for it. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, well, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, well, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you for watching. My name is Eric, and I'll see you in the next one.